the electric body. All our energy particles carry a charge, we cannot see it but sometimes feel it, as currents of energy flow through the physical body at all times. Every energy particle uses its energy charge, or electrical charge to keep the programming within the particle running in the most complete way of representing itself as physical. We see the physical body as a combination of skin, and many systems that make the physical body and see it as what we are. While in reality the physical body is made of energy particles taking on a certain programming to make it into the physical body, and the electric charge is part of what makes these energy particles appear physical to us. Our eyes and senses see and feel the energy particles, especially our eyes as they react to light input in many ways. Energy particles are almost like a light bulb flickering on and off in a way that cannot be seen by the physical eye, as they do this so fast it appears like the light bulb is always on. All our systems in the physical body are made of energy particles. Every system, big or small is made up of energy particles, each cell within our physical body is made up of energy particles. We cannot see them with the physical eye but we can communicate with them. As each particle has its own consciousness and its own programming for the physical body. All these particles are fueled by energy that they use to keep themselves charged and to keep the programming within running in its most optimal way for the physical body. When we say we are in a physical body, it really means some of our own energy, our own spirit or soul is occupying the physical body. We are not the physical body, but a spiritual being having an experience within the physical reality, within a physical body. The physical body, once the spirit leaves, returns to just energy particles, and as it is not fueled anymore, the programming is stopped and each particle takes on new programming, ready for the next physical appearance within this reality. When we speak about ascension into a light body, we use the physical body as an anchoring point to bring all, or our whole spirit or soul into this physical reality. This is needed as part of our spirit is stuck within this physical reality. Once we have brought every part within this physical reality, the physical implodes, having all its particles return to its original state. And our spirit energy that was stuck fully restored to its original state and our spiritual being complete and whole again. This is the simple explanation of the process of ascension into a light body. This is not way it was in the beginning, in the beginning you would come here with all your energies, everything was still fluid and even though the earth had a physical appearance, the earth energies were fluid. Creating things like tables, food, etc. was just by working with the energies all around and easy, if you didn't like the shape of the table you would change the shape in an instant. Now everything has to be done a different way as the earth in the reality upon earth has moved into its lowest frequency of all time. The matrix that was built to complete this program has been hijacked and as a soul, parts of you are not able to leave. This because your energy is now a part of the matrix program. The matrix is what controls much of the programming of the energy particles and your energy is being forced to participate within this by reincarnation into a physical body over and over again. What many see as the tunnel of light, when having a near-death experience is nothing more than a tunnel leading to a place to what they call rest, it is more like deprogramming and programming, then leading into another incarnation within another physical body. Through the programming you have been disconnected from most of what your higher being is, of what your soul is, yet the part of you that is here, has memories of more. All that is the earth in your universe, is built out of energy particles. Some of these particles have taken on a long-term programming and these are your planets, sun, stars and everything else you perceive to be physical. Like your earth, the earth is like a physical body, only it's a long-term physical body, and yes it was occupied for a long time by a spiritual being of high awareness and understanding of this process within the earth reality. Even so, 
This being was slowly becoming part of the Matrix programming and this is why it had to leave, as it left in 2012. Many of the grids that you know of were part of what was slowly taking over this being and making it part of the Matrix. Now we are in an upward spiral, and according to the programming that was created in the beginning, the Earth reality should be moving upwards into more fluidity. The matrix programming has slowly been altered over time and will keep the Earth and its reality within the state it is now. Yes, you might feel it is moving, the energies are changing, this is all part of the programming and the energies will fluctuate and move into different dimensional frequencies. This doesn't mean you are not stuck anymore within the Earth reality. The Matrix program, even though that's not what it was called in the beginning, knows it all, the high frequencies, the low frequencies and everything in between. The ones in control, some have been there from the beginning, and they have that knowledge as well. As you see the process of ascension, breaking free from the Matrix programming involves more than just a simple rescue of the part of your being not incarnated within this reality. As the programming and the ones controlling the programming are aware about ascension and know what ascension and breaking free entails, it has become more difficult to break free those parts of us within the Earth Matrix reality. They actually allow a certain amount of breaking free, a very small amount, but enough to give you hope and the feeling that something is changing. It requires a lot more than that, and it requires a lot more of you as a human as the human brain is not capable at this moment to fully understand all that is needed, as it has no experience of ascension. The human brain relies upon experience and this is what needs to be changed as well, as the human brain needs to become capable of translating, understanding and actually come up by itself with new ways of understanding that does not relate to experience of the human reality. It has to learn to understand a reality it cannot see with the physical eyes and physical senses. The part of you that is within this reality, has lost much of what it knows and has become so humanized and attached to the physical reality, that much of what it remembers it applies to the physical reality instead of the spiritual reality. This is also what makes it harder for you to find what is needed to break free of the physical reality. Most of the knowledge of the spiritual reality that was within you has been suppressed by slowly taking away the function of the brain that had the experience of the spiritual reality. In this way taking away your ability to reconnect with those parts of you being that are not within this physical reality. What we are doing is bringing back long lost knowledge to assist the human in remembering what it is in all realities, the physical and spiritual and bring back the knowledge on how to break free from the matrix reality we are stuck in. July 20, 2016 Peter Margolis www.ascendmasterswell.org Copyright Copyright 2016 Peter Margolis All Rights Reserved This message may be posted including the author's name and link.